Today we're going to divide mixed numbers. Let's get started. All right. Five and three fifths divided by one and five eighths. Okay. First thing we need to do is change these m these mixed numbers into improper fractions. Okay, so I'm going to go over here on the side. I'm going to say five and three fifths equals five times five plus three, and bring my five over here. Bring this five over. Five times five is twenty-five plus three is twenty-eight fifths. So. Instead of me writing five and three fifths, I can write twenty-eight fifths. Okay. Divide it by. Now I need to change this mixed number into an improper fraction. So again, over here on the side, five times one plus five over 8. 5 times 1 is 5 plus 5 is 10 over 8. That's going to give me 8 tenths. So instead of me writing 1 and 5 eighths, I can write 10 over 8. Now, so now that I have both of these um, improper fractions, I'm going to change my division problem into a multiplication problem. So I'm going to write 28 fifths times, I'm going to take the reciprocal of 10 eighths, which is 8 tenths. All right. So now what I need to do is multiply across. 28 times 8 and 5 times 10. Well, 28 times 8 is 224 and 5 times 10 is 50. Well, I know this is a um, improper fraction because my numerator is larger than my denominator so I need to divide. So I'm going to divide 224 divided by 50. That'll go in there uh, four times. So here's my whole number. Here's my numerator. Here's my denominator. So this is going to be 4 and 24 fiftieths. All right. Now I need to see if if it's if 2450s is in its lowest terms, okay? So I'm going to make a I'm going to write find the factors of 24 and the factors of 50. So factors of 24 are 1 times 24, 2 times 12, 3 times 8, 4 times 6. Okay? The factors for 50 are 1 times 50, 2 times 25, um, 5 times 10. All right. So now I need to find, I'm going to circle my common factors. They share 1's, they share 2's, and that's all they share. Okay, so my greatest common factor is going to be 2. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring my 4 over, and I'm going to divide 24 divided by 2 and 50 divided by 2. Well, 24 divided by 2 is 12, and 50 divided by 2 is 25. So there's my answer. 
Okay. So let's, let's do one more. Okay. Let's try <clears throat> eight and two thirds divided by four and one thirds. All right. First thing I need to do is change these mixed numbers into improper fractions. So over here on the side, I'm going to say eight and two thirds equals three times eight plus two over three. Well, 3 times 8 is 24, plus 2 is 26 thirds. So instead of me writing 8 and 2 thirds, I can write 26 thirds divided by. I need to change this into a mixed number. I'm sorry, improper fraction. 4 and 1 thirds equals 3 times 4 plus 1. Well, 3 times 4 is 12 plus 1 is 13 thirds. So now, instead of me writing 4 and 1 thirds, I'm going to write 13 thirds. Now I need to change this division problem into a multiplication problem. So I'm going to say 26 thirds times the reciprocal of 13 thirds is 3 thirteenths equals. Well, I'm going to multiply 26 times 3 in my numerator and 3 times 13 in my denominator. 26 times 3 is going to give me 78. And 3 times 13 is 39. Okay. So now I'm going to, I realize that I have an improper fraction, so I need to divide. So I'm going to take 78 divided by 39. 39 will go into 78 two times. Two times 39 is 78. Here's my whole number. Here's my numerator. Here's my denominator. So, I can write 2 and 0 30 ninths. And remember I told you that whenever you have a 0 in your, in your numerator, that equals 0. So you can just forget about that part and write your final answer as 2. Okay, I would like for you to, <coughs> to work 1. Let's try um, let me think. Let's try um, two and one tenths divided by five and one fifths. All right. If you'll please divide those two mixed numbers. And pause your video, please. Okay. First thing you need to do is change these two mixed numbers into improper fractions. Okay. So, I'm going to say, um, um, 2 and 1 tenths equals 10 times 2 plus 1 over 10. 2 times 2 times 10 times 2 is 20 plus 1 is 21 over 10. I just brought that over. And then I'm going to find change this into an improper fraction. 5 and 1 fifths equals 5 times 5 plus 1 over 5. Okay, so 5 times 5 is 25 plus 1 is 
26 fifths. Just bring that over. So, so instead of me writing 2 and 1 tenths, I can write 21 over 10 divided by, instead of me writing 5 and 1 fifths, I can write 26 fifths. Now I need to change this division problem into a multiplication problem, okay? And, and you have to go through this process, okay? So you want to say 21 tenths. You're going to leave your first fraction alone. You want to change your division sign to multiplication. And you want to take the reciprocal of 26 fifth, which is 5 over 26. All right? So now we're just going to multiply across. 21 times 5 and 10 times 26. 21 times 5 is 105 and 10 times 26 is 260. Okay, now, wow, that's, that's a large number here. Okay. Um, so what we need to do, we can probably reduce this fraction because both of these fractions, they share um, 5. So I'm going to list all the factors for 105, wow, well, and 260, okay? So um, I have 1 times 105. I have 5 times, I'm sorry, I have 3. 3, um, times 35, 5 times 21, um, I haven't used my calculator here, and I'm, I think that's it, I'm not sure, but I think that's it, okay? Over here I have, and I'll find out in a couple of minutes, um, for 260 I have 1 times 260. I have 2 times um, 130. And um, let's see, 4 times 65, 5 times 52, all right. Okay, let, let's stop there and let's see if that's gonna be enough factors for us to reduce this, okay? Let's see what they share. They share a one and a five. Is that all? Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm going to divide the numerator by five and the denominator by 5. So, I have um, 105 divided by 5, which is 21. And I have 260 divided by 5, which is 52. Okay. And, I think that is the final answer because 21 and 52, they don't have a share a common factor. All right, I, um, I hope that um, that video helped you out. Uh, if you would like, to me, like for me to do more videos, please um, go to mathwithmoon.org and I'll be more than happy to work some more videos for you. All right, have a great day, bye.